Oil production in the Niger Delta has over the years been skewed by challenges of oil theft, which has led to loss of millions of dollars. National Security Advisor Nuhuri Badu says Nigeria loses 400,000 barrels of crude oil daily, valued at about $4 million due to the activities of oil thieves and pipeline vandals. To seek solutions to these issues of oil bunkering and oil spillage, two books which have a compilation of papers and speeches by former petroleum minister and traditional ruler of oil-rich Nembe community in Bayasa State, King Edmond Dakuru, are being launched here. That the issue of legacy, which has been blazoned on the back of the books, is actually not what I would have liked. So here you have a book fresh out of the mint. Oil theft no is a surreptitious activity. It is done in the dark or it is done in places or, or where they will not be detected power. easily. You know, uh, because it, 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 it is an action of a, a theft, the action of a thief. The they, they want to do it quickly and go. And in the process, in the process, they cause pollution. And they leave the po pollution and run away because it's an illegal activity they're undertaking. So the two are linked. We have security agencies that should be able to put a check on them. We have uh, the upstream agency that should be keeping a check on these activities. But nothing, nothing is happening. And, and they have not been put in a position to say, if you don't perform, you are fired. I've never heard that. Guest speaker Magnus Buckle and others prefer solutions to the economic challenges facing the Niger Delta. The nation cannot be successful today as it is, without, cannot be successful without the development of the Niger Delta. And I'm not saying that for any sentimental reason. That is just a fact. That's where the major resources for Nigeria's development today are. And so the country must be intentional about how to have energy security, about how to have human capital development, about how to have industrialization in that area, so that there will be peace. The well, government should stop oil flaring. The best remedy to oil bunkery, the best remedy to oil theft, should be to get the people involved. Oil theft and militancy are activities of mixed crimes, and they are uh, symptomatic of the of the social, economic, and political tensions that, in, that, uh, that exist in the country at this moment in time. The lecture and book launch had eminent Nigerians in attendance, including the Sultan of Sokoto and the Oni of Ife, among other notable leaders. Mary Chinda, Arise News.